Currently, when you renew your license or get a new one, you have the option of registering to vote at the same time. DFL lawmakers want to change that from an opt-in system to an opt-out, so you're automatically registered unless you ask not to be. This moment requires action, and we're here to act. We're here to defend and strengthen our democracy. State Rep Emma Greenman is the lead author of an election reform package that would also allow the state to send absentee ballots automatically to those who've signed up to be permanent absentee voters. And it would require every county in Minnesota to provide at least one secure ballot drop box location. It would also do away with the witness requirement for absentee ballots, something that was a court ordered temporary rule in 2020. If the record turnout of the last election has taught us anything, it is that Americans are clamoring to claim their right to vote. We need to embrace that, not stifle it. The election package also includes automatically restoring the right to vote to felony offenders who are no longer incarcerated. Currently, more than 50,000 Minnesotans can't vote because they're still on probation. These people are mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, sisters, brothers, and our neighbors. So is it likely Capitol Republicans will oppose a lot of these ideas? Well, do people from Vermont dress for the weather? Yes, but the sponsors are hoping that they can work out some compromises and win people over throughout the session. For CARE 11 News, I'm John Croman. Senate Republicans say they'd like to take another shot at requiring photo ID at the polls, which is required in many states, including Wisconsin.